Buenos dias, damas y caballeros. Hoy día es miércoles 5 de mayo. Por favor, levántense para la promesa de lealtad. Yo prometo fidelidad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación ante Dios indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Ok, damas y caballeros, hoy día tenemos las fechas importantes. Es feliz cumpleaños a Clara Fainer. Es su día especial. Entonces, feliz cumpleaños a ti. Y para el almuerzo hoy día, en el feliz o el cumpleaños de Clara, vamos a tener tacos. Frijoles, refri fried, <laughs> uh, papas y maíz, bananos y leche. Si ustedes no saben qué es eso, puede practicar su español. Solo hay una persona que puede entender hoy día, y eso es The Tig Man. El Tig puede traducir por todos en su clase. All right, I'm going to stop there. If you didn't know, it's Cinco de Mayo, that's why we're doing it in Spanish today, guys. If you didn't know, Cinco de Mayo is special because the Mexican army beat the French at something. Um, but I think it's really just a reason to party in the United States. Just me. Most of my Hispanic friends in South Omaha tell me the same thing. So, anyways, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Uh, and if you didn't catch that, it's Claire Fainer's birthday, and we're having tacos. So, how poetic. Uh, just a reminder that May 7th, everyone wear purple in honor of Josie. And Macy for Cornelia Lang DeLang Syndrome Awareness. Um, and we'll all be wearing purple on Friday for that. High school show choir auditions will be May 20th and 21st. Um, if you're interested in auditioning, please pick up a packet. Please pick up a packet in the office or the music room. Next practice, uh, well, it was yesterday, so don't have to worry about that. If you're interested in doing some volleyball, uh, Sacred Heart up the street is having a volleyball camp for 2nd through 8th graders. If you're interested, we have sign-up sheets for that if you want to play some volleyball. Uh, let's see. Next announcement comes from Miss Duncan in the lunchroom. Uh, Friday is School Lunch Hero Day. Don't forget to tell the lunch ladies thank you for all they do to keep everyone fed. And let me tell you, the food here is amazing compared to other schools. And I don't know about you all, but first of all, Rita Kuntz, who works in the lunchroom, Mrs. Kuntz, my hero because she saved Valentine's Day. So you should tell her thank you twice, saving Valentine's Day and being our lunch hero. Miss Thompson, well, she's just everybody's hero. So Elsie's just so lucky to have her as a mom, and I'm sure she's never embarrassed by her. So thank you, Miss Thompson. Miss Nolte, who was a mom of somebody I went to school with, cleans the dishes. So make sure you tell her thank you because she cleans up after you guys, which is not awesome to do, I'm sure. So thank you, Miss Nolte. And finally, a big thank you to Miss Duncan, who runs the whole show. So make sure on Friday you tell them thanks. Heck, tell them thanks all week, everybody, because they deserve it. All right. Our AOK -okay of the day is going out to from... I believe Miss Fankhauser to Ethan Sherva. As he left the cafeteria after breakfast, he told me in a very clear voice to have a nice day as he passed by. Makes a great start of the day when students are so kind. Thank you, Ethan. All right. And our words of wisdom on Cinco de Mayo are about Cinco de Mayo victory. And we're going to learn a little bit about Cinco de Mayo. In 1862, a group of poorly armed Mexican soldiers won a great victory over the invading French troops. More than 130 years later, millions of Mexicans and Mexican-Americans celebrate their victory. This celebration is known as Cinco de Mayo. We have a Cinco de Mayo tree here. And we might be the only school to have a Cinco de Mayo tree. Makes Falls City Middle School special. These Mexican heroes won a great victory for Mexico, but they also won a great victory for humanity. Why? Because their courageous and fearless fight for freedom continues to inspire millions. Today, let's join in the celebration of a truly great victory, and let's remember that each time we take a stand for freedom, maybe that means freedom from drugs or freedom from ignorance. Each time we act courageously, maybe that means standing up to peer pressure or forgiving an enemy, we win a victory, not just for ourselves, but for the world around us. 
In closing, remember these words of Horace Mann, a 19th century hero who won many victories on behalf of education in America. Be ashamed to die until you have won some victory for humanity. Create victory in your life today and then make it a great day or not because the choice is always yours. Hasta luego, chicos, y tengan un buen día. Hasta mañana.